What is up YouTube? Welcome to the Nasty Nate channel. This is probably the video you've all been waiting for. Today is finally the day. We're going to mount the 33 by 1250 tires on the Alcoas. They were machined down from 22 and a half to 22 by 14 so they can run a regular uh, truck tire instead of a semi tire. But we're going to get all of those mounted up on the wheels and then we're going to try to mount them on the truck we'll show you how that's going to be done with the adapters but this thing is going to look nasty so stay tuned to the nasty nate channel we'll show you exactly the tire we bought here in a second and then we'll start mounting the tires let's get started So you're probably thinking, wait, I thought you were mounting the tires in this video. Yeah, I already mounted one of them. So long story short, I was trying to mount all the tires the other day and it started raining, of course. I mean, what, what better luck would we have for it to start raining on the day I plan to mount all these tires? So I started making the video, started looking at the video after I, uh, got home and started looking at the clips and I just wasn't happy with it. So it was raining, kind of getting dark out. It looked bad. I want this video to be a good video for you guys to watch so you guys can learn kind of what I'm doing or watch at least what I'm doing. So anyway, without further ado, let's show you the tires. They are a 33 by 1250 Fury mud tire. I think they're called the Country Hunter. Um, that's a little, that's a little country for me, but we'll take it because it's a nasty tire. Pretty much what every, uh, stance truck or whatever is running right now. Um, all the SEMA, it seems like a lot of the SEMA trucks at least are running a Fury tire. Uh, some of the bigger trucks, lifted trucks and whatever, because they do make crazy size mud tires that are actually street drivable. So this is definitely a mud tire, but it's nothing like a bogger or anything. So driving on the road, it's not going to be bad, but they make tires in all sizes. They make tires for 26s, 28s, 30, 30 inch wheels. I mean, this company is definitely up and coming. So I would highly recommend them. I've heard great things about their tires, but we are going to mount the rest of these. As you can see, this thing looks absolutely nasty perfect for the nasty nate channel perfect for the nasty nate lbz and we got a little bit of stretch definitely because it's a 14 wide but that's exactly how i wanted that's exactly what i was expecting and as you can see that is why i polished the outside of this barrel here because you can see it so man they're gonna look so good on this truck so for those of you that's gonna try to do this at home this is what you need to get some Rue glide from napa maybe you don't need that brand or whatever but and then you're just gonna brush it on the tire like this and we're really putting it on there try to get some of the inside too and then we're also going to put it on the wheel because this thing the the first bead will go on easy the second one is what sucks all right let me put the camera down and figure this out so at this point you probably are able to just put the tire on like this give it a little push and it'll slide on the next part this is where it sucks but we're gonna do the same thing get this ready to slide on there I'm gonna try to get the inside too because that's what's gonna be touching the wheel see what happens uh. 
Now this is where you're going to need a tire, what is this called? A tire spoon, that's what it is. Or a pry bar. I probably wouldn't use a pry bar because it's going to be sharp. This is kind of rounded and it's not going to like destroy your wheels, but it is still going to be a little sketchy. Wants to. There we go. Now we get to use the starting fluid. All right. Once the tire is on the rim, obviously um, it won't just um, seal air right now since it's not beaded. But to do that, we're going to have to use starting fluid. And the first thing you want to make sure is the valve core is out of your valve stem. And then we're just going to put this on here. It'll be blasting air. And then we're going to spray around with starting fluid, light it. Hopefully it'll explode. The tire will come up here and beat itself. And then the air coming in through the valve stem will do the rest. Let's see if we can get it to work. First thing you want to make sure is use extra strength starting fluid. It might say premium starting fluid. That's what you want. If you don't have premium starting fluid, it ain't gonna work, bottom line. <coughs> Hell yeah, second try. Yeah, grab that. The blanket's on fire. All right, the premium starting fluid is definitely where it's at. We tried at least 15 times the other day. It was also raining outside. I don't think that affects starting fluid too much, but it might. But uh, second try, and we already got, we only had 20 PSI in there, and the tire was beaded, so that's badass. Um, the other two, put like 50 in there. 55, yeah, that's good. We got 56, perfect. Um, just unplug the airline, and then we'll wait and put the valve core in. But the other two should go pretty quick. I mean, that was easy. Hell yeah. Pretty stoked on that, but we'll get the other two going and see what happens. As you can see, with the premium starting fluid, that gets the job done. Definitely big shout out to the Dually King. He machined these wheels and the tires fit and seal air flawlessly. So that's my dude, the Dually King. I'll throw a link to something in my bio. Definitely go check him out if you want to run Dually wheels or any kind of semi wheels. He machines all that stuff. He can also make you custom wheels. So get at him if you want to get some sweet wheels like this. But let's throw these on and uh, see what they look like. All right, guys, I got the rears on. Um, I'll show you the problem that we're having with the front wheels in a second. But they honestly don't stick out very far for a 14 wide. I'm going to run a one inch spacer on the back. It's going to be a 10 lug spacer, so it's not going to be sketchy because these adapters are actually made for running two aluminum wheels for a dually so this lip sticks out so you can mount two wheels on and it actually catches the second one so i'm going to run a one inch spacer and then it'll still catch this wheel and still spin uh correctly but so this will stick out one inch and then it'll be even because the fronts naturally stick out more on a chevy but man this thing looks nasty i'm gonna drop it We'll turn it around 
probably get a video it's gonna look hilarious because the fronts are stock but um, I do need new lug nuts you're supposed to run dually lug nuts on these I'm running my factory single wheel lug nuts which are conical the adapter is not set up for a conical lug nut so I'm gonna have to get new lug nuts for here a spacer and then when we get to the front I will explain what's going on there but let's drop this thing down turn it around get a good view of it because this looks nasty I love it man let's see what happens all right here's the issue issue we're running into put the 10 look adapter on the hub they hit the caliper bracket because let me take this off the caliper bracket right here is like flush with the face of where the wheel mounts so it's hitting right here and then all the way along this so what I'm going to have to do is let me put this back on either get a spacer that runs in between the hub and the adapter which I think is sketchy but what I want to do is get extended studs and a half inch spacer so it sits like right there we'll still have a little bit of clearance with that bolted on it should be all right but that should be straightened out hopefully this week I'm gonna throw a couple lug nuts on the front just mount a wheel on so we can see what it looks like so let's do that and uh, see what happens and then we'll figure out how to fix that issue this week hopefully we can throw them on next week and be driving there it is with the front wheel on it that thing's looking fly with both wheels makes me just want to figure out this front front end issue faster because this thing looks nasty they're not all bolted on I just put it on there it's still jacked up just to just to see what it would look like but hopefully we can do this soon I just have the stock on this side still so we're gonna put the stocks back on for the week I guess figure out the front end super stoked to finally get this done hopefully you guys are super stoked to finally see it make sure you subscribe to nasty nate stay tuned to one of the next videos it's going to be all four wheels finally on this thing hopefully driving down the road with no issues and then we're going to have to rebuild the front end because this is going to blow some ball joints boy that's all right though gotta stay looking fly